can hear them. I am going to uh, call this meeting to order. It looks like we have a quorum. Um, the first thing is to review and approve the agenda. Um, at, anyone have uh, any changes to the agenda? Oh, oh yeah. yes, Jennifer. I'm gonna recuse myself. Um, just wanted to show up and let everybody know. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Jack. Jackie, if you're talking, you are muted. Cameron's working on getting the sound working so we can hear. Oh, can you, do you want us to wait a minute? Can you, can you not hear us very well? Right. Okay. Audience can't hear. Okay. Okay. All yeah, right. Well, can hear. Most of us can hear. Okay. Fair enough. Um, well, I don't mind hanging out a little bit while Cameron waits for that. I suppose, um, I, I imagine it's useful to you if, <laughs> if one of us keeps talking so that we can, so that you can continue to check, make sure that it's working. No, I can't hear it at all. Mm. <clears throat> Um, I think that's as good as we're going to get. Okay. Sit closer if you can't hear. Okay. Um, all right. And so, and so Jennifer will be accusing herself for the rest of this meeting. Um, any other uh, changes to the agenda? Okay, so it looks like uh, there's no changes, so we'll consider the agenda approved. Uh, so on to general business and appearances. This is an opportunity for anyone to uh, make a comment um, on any topic that is not otherwise on our agenda. Um, so uh, if anyone would like to do that, now would be an okay time. Thank you, Madam Mayor, Steve Whitaker, Montpelier. I want to raise a issue of a health uh, emergency. The uh, garbage around town all got picked up on Friday, anticipating the townwide event, uh, which apparently was very successful, except the bike path, the multi-use path garbage was not. It was overflowing on Friday and it's overflowing uh, worse today. Uh, it's just a lack of coordination among town departments, everybody pointing the other direction. Secondly, somebody defecated along the uh, bike path on Friday. Um, it left fo soiled paper uh, in multiple locations at Taylor Street and right at the block benches uh, near Confluence Park. This is while the uh, transit center bathrooms remained closed during 11 to 2.30 in violation of the lease. I've brought that to your attention. I had a conversation with John Moore and he tells me that the city manager has uh, consented to his leaving those closed. Uh, the clause in the contract in the lease agreement requires they be made available uh, eight to six, five days a week. And the violation of that, there's a caveat for unavailability of staffing, but I've been told by the staffing that they are willing to work more hours. They just won't give them to them because uh, they don't wanna pay benefits. Meanwhile, I just this few minutes ago got the AOT uh, coronavirus relief and ARPA funds. There's $10 million that Green, that Green Mountain Transit has obtained in federal funds. So for us to allow our city manager to throw Vermont, you know, Montpelier residents and tourists under the bus and crap on, in the public way, and then it got thrown into the river uh, over $15,000 you know, of extortion is unconscionable and a health hazard. And I wish y'all would really get to the bottom of this quickly. No pun intended. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, so uh, moving on then. 
Um, so well, we are moving on to uh, the response to open meeting law violation allegations. Um, and for this uh, section, I think we have the opportunity to go into executive session if uh, we would like. Jack. I move, I have two motions. One, I move that uh, premature public knowledge will clearly place the public body at a substantial disadvantage concerning pending or probable civil litigation to which the city is a part. I'll second it. Okay, uh, any further discussion? I have discussion if you're allowing the public. Um, sure, yeah, go ahead, Stephen. Uh, I don't dispute that the council, council has, has the authority to fill a vacancy. Uh, the question is, is how the council went about this. And you, you could have uh, avoided the whole charade just by picking somebody that you chose and appointing them. But to run a charade of a public process, invite people to submit petitions and uh, some people are apparently invited to the forum uh, where you made the appointment and others were not with no explanation of who got notice or why. And then to uh, have two people candidates, I've spoken to two of the three candidates that weren't selected. And it just feels like it just seems to all observers as and even residents in the checkout line at Shaw's that this is just dirty pool, backroom, hardball politics. And it's, I'm having to say we're better than that. And I having to insist that we be better than that. But to make a call after two people show up and make their pitch to go into executive session, and then decide neither of them is good enough. It's a kick in the teeth to the people that did show up and had run before, had petitioned and actually run for office before. And then to make a call of which we will never hear the contents of there was no recording and no public oversight of that telephone call you know is just dirty pool it's just unconscionable it erodes uh faith and trust in the process and it makes y'all look bad you know it it, it uh will re be remembered you know going coming coming election time thank okay. you thank you all right so there any anyone else Okay, um, there's been a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And opposed. Um, now, before we actually vote to go into executive session, um, Bill or um, anyone else want to um, say anything about these allegations? I mean, we can, we can also talk about it after, but I want to make sure that we give folks the opportunity. Um, if there's any preference. Um, I'd say that you should talk about it and you should invite um, myself and attorney Tarrant into executive session. Okay. Um, Jack, do you want to, do you want to give it some preface? I saw you had your hand up. Go ahead, Jack. You're not coming through Zoom. Well, I, I was just going to make a motion to go into executive session to uh, receive uh, advice from our legal counsel concerning uh, the potential uh, litigation for which uh, we've made the finding. And Madam Mayor, one more comment. Um, a bit, hang on, before you make a comment, Steve, um, Donna. Uh, I was gonna second the motion. Great, thank you. Um, so motion and a second, now's an opportunity for further discussion about that. Stephen, go ahead. Yeah, just, just the key step, step that Bill just, just announced in public open session who else was necessary and why to invite into the executive session. This is the part that was skipped in the session that I filed the violation notice of. You did not announce that you needed the candidate to speak via a telephone uh, prior to going into executive session. Uh, Jack. I should have been clear that that motion includes inviting the uh, city manager and the city attorney into the executive session. But not the candidate. And uh, right so, okay, so, and I, and, um, 
Okay, uh, so yeah, I think it's probably worth saying, Jennifer, your intention is not to join us for executive session. No. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so, uh, Bill, anything else you want to say before we go in? Okay. All right. Uh, so there's been a motion and a second. Um, all in favor, please say aye. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. All right. So the motion passes. We are going to pop out of this Zoom and uh, I'll see uh, those of you joining us in the other uh, meeting and we'll be back. We'll return to this one probably shortly. Donna, yes. Uh, I didn't have a an executive session in the agenda. For oh, okay. I'll, I'll forward it to you. Thank you. Okay. See you soon. Also, do we have a motion to come out of executive session? So moved. Second. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, and oppose. All right, so the motion passes. We're back in public session. And uh, at this point, uh, do we have um, uh, a motion? Go ahead, Jack. I move that the council determine as follows. One. Stephen Whitaker alleged in an email dated September 3rd, 2021, that this council violated the open meeting law during its September 1st, 2021 meeting. Two, that no violation of the open meeting law occurred as alleged. And three, that no cure is necessary. And is there a second? Okay. Second. Yeah. Okay. Multiple seconds. Um, and now, so on to discussion. So for this uh, part, I'm going to turn it over first to uh, Michael Tarrant. Good morning. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so I thought I would just give a brief rundown on the open meeting law and executive session and the purpose that I understand the meeting was for uh, to replace Daniel Richardson with a new appointee. Uh, under the open meeting law, when it comes to executive sessions for um, discussing the appointment or employment of a public officer employee, uh, executive session is allowed. The only requirements are that there be a two-thirds affirmative vote to go into executive session to discuss that purpose. Under the executive session statute, the board has the sole discretion to invite members into that executive session the councils, excuse me, um, to discuss uh, the matter that the executive session was called for. In this case, I believe there were um, members who were there and members who weren't there who had either petitioned or been nominated um, for that replacement position. So during that time, the council had the ability to discuss in its discretion within that executive session, uh, the people who it needed to talk to um, and then come out of that executive session. So that's the basic framework for executive session and open meetings related to appointments. Um, be happy to answer any questions from the council if there are any. So if I may clarify, uh, Mike, also I'm not sure I clarified, uh, you are an attorney uh, for the city of Montpelier. Is that more or less accurate? <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll introduce myself. Yeah, my name is uh, Michael Tarrant. I'm an attorney at Tarrant, Gillis and Shems in Montpelier, um, working with the city uh, as a general counsel basis um, here today to discuss the allegation that Mr. Whitaker has raised. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, and just to clarify, so the um, the council's practice of, uh, or the habit that we had been, have been in, in terms of inviting or clarifying who is gonna be in executive session is, um, well, actually, I was gonna say is sort of, uh, I'm I don't even know where you're, where you're going. Yeah. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm gonna. Is, is it required to uh, list right. the folks who are invited into executive session? And under Vermont law, the answer is no. Uh, the open meeting law does require minutes be taken of all open meetings, and it does require certain things be listed. When it comes to executive session, however, it expressly states that minutes need not be taken. Okay. And the only provision that requires anyone be listed is under the minutes section. And if minutes for executive session need not be taken, then you wouldn't need to list the invitees. Okay, thank you. Just wanted to make sure we're clear about that. Um, and then uh, I also just want to um, make sure it's clear that 
uh, from the council's perspective, the intention to, uh, or the, the intention around uh, calling the two candidates who were not present at that meeting was uh, really to give everyone an opportunity, every opportunity to participate in the meeting if they were able. Uh, and we are also we were also informed that uh, everyone did receive uh, all of the candidates uh, did receive the same notice. Um, so just to make sure uh, that all those points were clear. Uh, so there's been a, a motion and a second. Anything further? Uh, Jack. I just want to say, based on that, that I believe that the claim by uh, Mr. Whitaker is uh, utterly without merit, and that uh, any claim that efforts made by this council to increase participation by members of the public was somehow a way to make a, a secretive and inside decision is simply absurd. And so I'll be voting in favor of this motion. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Okay, so there's been a motion and a second. Um, any further discussion? Okay, uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And opposed. Okay, so the motion passes uh, and I believe that is the uh, end of our uh, meeting. I just want to make sure that I am not missing anything here. Um, yep. Okay. So without objection, we, any, anyone, <laughs> anything else folks want to say? Okay. All right. So without objection, we will consider this meeting adjourned. Thank you, everybody.